What it do, everybody? This your boy Levon Deuce, and I'm back again, bruh, with another video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, bruh. Share this if you can to get some of this good content out to the people. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, but let's go ahead and jump into today's topic. Today's topic, I'm going to give you 10 do's and don'ts in no particular order for a relationship. And before we jump in, these are just my opinions personally. You can use it how you like, but I just think they're just pretty good. And it's a lot more tips, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just breaking just some of them down in this video right here. So I should have more if y'all like it. Just let me know and I'm gonna drop some more of that. So we're gonna start this thing off with number one, do not snoop. Bruh, do not go through your girl's phone. Ladies, do not go through your dude's phone. You got to trust them because you can go through something. Because first of all, once you start, you're never going to stop. Secondly, you can go through something, look at something, and think it's something else when it's really this. Like your mind can misinterpretate certain things, then boom, there go a big argument. And then your partner can be like, well, how do you know that? You going through my phone? And boom, there you go. Trust issues out the fucking window. Which that leads to number two, and that's building trust. You have to constantly build trust and relationship. You got to trust your partner. It's important. If you don't have trust in your relationship, then you really don't have nothing. If you guys want to, if you don't, if y'all don't trust each other right now, then you have to build to that. If y'all not going anywhere with that, then y'all might as well separate ways and go trust yourself or go trust in somebody else. But you got to have trust in order for a relationship to work. Number three, have communication. Talk it out. If you guys have any type of misunderstanding, you have to talk it out. Communicate. Ladies, stop thinking the man need to guess how you're feeling. Tell him he's not a mind reader. So do not get mad if he don't understand what you're going through right now. Open your mouth and talk to him. Communicate. If something's wrong with y'all, communicate. Communicate. I need to say it one more time. Communicate. Which brings us to number four. That's lead and follow. Fellas, you don't always have to lead because you don't know everything. It's okay to learn something from your partner. That's how you follow and then you always take lead. When, some, when one person's down, the other person picks the other person up. Lead and follow. One person shouldn't always have to carry the load in a relationship. Like I said, when you give 100% to 100%, now y'all got something good. Number five, this gotta be the most basic one ever. Do not Cheat. Bottom line. I don't care what y'all going through in a relationship. When it gets to the point where you cheat, the relationship is over. There's no reason to play that other person. Do not cheat. There's no excuse for that, bro. Do not cheat. Number six, keep your relationship private. Quit running to social media every time you have a problem with your relationship. Most people that see you post a status bashing your partner, they do not care. And if they do care, they're glad that y'all going through stuff. Keep your problems private in a relationship. You might can have that one person, that one friend that you can talk to about your problems, but make sure they're the type that gives you good advice. Because once you go around telling everybody about the problems that you and your partner got and say y'all broke up and then y'all got back together, then everybody can look at y'all like, wait, I thought such and such did and now y'all back to get, now you look stupid. So nah, bro, keep your relationship private. Number seven, understanding that nobody's perfect. You are not perfect, so you cannot expect your partner to be perfect. Respect the fact that your partner is trying if they had past flaws, but understand nobody's perfect. Sometimes your partner's gonna do certain things that you don't like, but guess what? You don't control nobody but yourself. You only control your own actions, bro. You know, nobody's perfect, bro. But understand, if your partner is trying, that means everything. This brings us to number eight. Have your own life. It is very important to have a life outside of your relationship. It's very important for him to go over here with his homeboys and her to go over here to her homegirls or whatever y'all into. It's very important to have your own life. Just in case if that relationship doesn't work out, you will be fine. You still have a life after that relationship. Just like you had a life before, you need to have a life during. You know what I'm saying? It's important. And number nine, I said this before in my last videos before. Build your partner. As in, make your partner better. Put in as much effort as your partner is putting into you. 
A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Learn something for your partner. Make sure you upgrade your partner as well as your partner should be doing the same. One person shouldn't always just benefit off the other person. Because if, that, if that's the case, then that other person ain't nothing but a leech. They have to give in order to receive. So y'all build together, then that's going to make a strong relationship. And last but not least, number 10, never, ever try to force your partner into your life. As in, never be clingy towards your partner. Understand that your partner is there because they want to be. And you have to be okay just in case if they leave. You give them that power to understand that they're here because they want to be. Never manipulate anybody and making them think that they need you or you need them. Never, ever do that. Once you do that, that's a weak relationship already. And that's very toxic. Like I said, man, these 10 tips was nothing but just my personal opinion on something that can help, you know what I'm saying, better a relationship, you know what I'm saying? If you see any of those tips and you're like, okay, well, I was lacking in this area, so I'm gonna apply it like this, then by all means, bro, go ahead and do what you gotta do. But understand, you know what I'm saying, relationship has its ups and downs, its highs and lows. Everything's not even gonna be, it's not gonna always be perfect, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have rainy days, and that's just a part of a relationship. You go through storms to make sure that your relationship is stronger. But at the same time, you gotta keep a mutual respect with each other. So one person doesn't just overrun the next person. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's definitely not it. But anyway, bro, I appreciate y'all tuning in, and I'll holler at y'all next time.